Hey guys, Hack Exploit here, back again with another video and normal uploads. In this video, what we're going to be looking at is how to use Tor as your default network gateway. Now, if you still don't understand what I mean by this, uh, essentially this is a technique or a process that will allow you to anonymize your uh, anonymize your traffic on the computer using any type of container, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, you know, an anonymizing your entire system, simply put. All right. So usually with anonymization, as we have talked about on the channel various times, we have proxy chains, which allows you to anonymize a specific thread or a container. And I'll explain what that is. And then we have a VPN connection, which, uh, as you know, you have your free alternatives, which are now being tracked or data is being logged. So it's not really a good alternative. The paid ones are usually good, especially NordVPN, which is what I recommend as well. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, is there a free way to use Tor to anonymize my entire system apart from AnonSurf? Because that apparently has a lot of issues nowadays. And yes, there is. There has been for a while now. And the reason I didn't make a video on it is because uh, of the uh, the amount of alternatives out there. But for now, I think this is also a very good option. And it offers an option for those of you who are not willing to use VPNs. And, uh, you know, if you're not willing to use a VPN and you want to use Tor, Tor being your tunneling, uh, you want to use Tor... To tunnel your traffic which is very safe as you know it goes through a series of nodes that being said we're going to be using a, uh, a script called nipe now uh, when i say it's a script it essentially just automates the process uh, doing it manually is is possible but what you need to do is you need to have a separate a server that will act as your gateway but here you can do it directly in your operating system whatever uh, linux operating system you're running and it's really awesome so uh, as you can see here, Tor enables you to surf the internet, chat and send messages, etc, etc. Uh, Nipe is a script that will make Tor your network default gateway. So essentially what's happening here, it's similar to proxy chains, except this time uh, any traffic, uh, you know, coming out of your computer will be going through uh, Tor as your gateway. So you should be pretty, pretty safe. Okay, and as you can see, it was designed with Perl, and uh, this Perl script enables you to directly route all your traffic from your computer to the uh, Tor network through uh, through which you can surf the internet anonymous, anonymously without having to worry about being tracked or traced back. And that is true. Uh, tracking back through Tor is almost impossible. Uh, so uh, you do need Perl. So if you're running this on another Linux distribution, make sure you have Perl installed. And the installation is quite simple, but I want to explain a bit of it. So what you do is you'd clone the repository. Uh, you change your directory into the uh, into the cloned repository, which is the nipe folder or the nipe directory. And then you need to use the cpan installed. Now, if you don't know what cpan is, don't worry. It is a relatively new term, especially if you're a beginner. cpan is essentially the comprehensive Perl archive network all right so if you have Perl installed uh, the way you have pip on python uh, which allows you to install packages or modules that work under python uh, cpan is essentially that so it allows you to install uh, modules that work under Perl. Uh, so in this case you're installing the json uh, module here the json module that will work with Perl. so again you can see the correlation here so essentially what you're doing here is you're installing the JSON module for Perl. Really simple. I just wanted to make sure you guys understood that. So what I've done is I've already started it up and it's currently running. Uh, Nipe is currently running, but I'll show you how to get it started. So the first thing you want to do is you need to clone uh, your repository here. So what you do is essentially just clone your repository. And then once you're in the, in the folder, the Nipe folder, as I am, uh, what you need to do first is you need to install uh, you need to install the um, the JSON module, which can be done by using the cpan install switch. So you can just copy this, and once that's done, you need to install uh, nipe. So that can be done by you know using the perl command nipe dot perl uh, install. So that's really very very simple. So uh, what you do is again just look at the command and perl. Uh, so you say perl nipe dot pl and you would hit install now i already have mine installed uh, so what you can do next is you can type in perl nipe and uh, you can just hit start all right in my case i've already started it and let me just show you the command so you can start stop it restart it and you can check the status okay so let me just restart mine because i already have it started and i'm gonna hit enter and let it restart and now you can use the status command which is as so 
and on say enter you're going to see that it'll uh, essentially tell me the status and there we are it's activated and my new ip address is 62 uh, etc etc so now i have a dns leak test here again it is it's not leaking any dns information because uh the script essentially disables that uh, any type of dns leaks and as you can see that is the exact ip that is given us now of course uh, because you're using tor and the fact that it has nodes uh, that means that periodically it's going to change your 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 exit node, which means your IP address is going to change, which is awesome. Okay, so that's just a little warning for those of you who think that it's going to stay as a static IP. No, it's going to be constantly changing. And as you can see, DNS is going to be switching as well, and it's using the Google Finland uh, DNS. But again, you can change that to whatever one you want in your resolve.com uh, configuration file. So again, this is a pretty awesome tool that I just wanted to show you guys. The installation is really very simple. You install the uh, the Perl module, the Perl JSON module, and then you install Nipe, and you, simple as that, and you just get started with it, and uh, you can restart it whenever you feel you want a new uh, entry node and an exit node, just to make sure that you're keeping things uh, refreshed. Otherwise, a fantastic option. You can also run the script on startup. For those of you who want to be anonymous directly from the go, and yeah, uh, that's how to get Nipe installed and how to anonymize uh, your entire system and pass through and pass your traffic through Tor, which is going to act as your default network gateway. Uh, again, you can run this through your uh, through another computer that then connects to the router, but that's an advanced process. But you really don't need to go through all of that. This just does everything for you. That being said, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you found value in it, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know on my social networks or on my website on the forum section. Uh, and I'll be sure to answer your questions and also uh, to look at your video suggestions. That being said, that's going to be it for this video. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.